I'm trying to do this intro right, <laughs> but like we're just all goofing around. But right now we're in upstate New York at a place called Parksville. Literally, we're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by farmlands, but this is a, there's a ghost town here, and people get mixed up with ghost towns being all abandoned, but they're actually all not abandoned. Could be a population of one, it's still considered ghost town. Population of 100, it's still considered ghost town uh, based on various things. Like at this place, there's abandoned hotels, there's abandoned restaurants, there's abandoned theaters, abandoned diners. There's tons of abandoned stuff here, and we're just kind of like roaming around the whole entire like little town that we got, going inside each individual place, just to show you guys this place. But it's super interesting. I'm going to try to go over the history because it's all on the top of my dome. Um, it started off in the 1800s when people came in and settled here. It was pretty much, they turned into like a little village. So a guy named William came and he was like, we're going to build mills here. We're going to get businesses open and we're going to start growing this place. And that's exactly what he did. Um, but then like the steam trains start coming out, uh, started getting popular out here. And they had trains that were coming from here at Parksville all the way to the Catskills because obviously, if you guys watched previous of my videos, the hotel Catskills, the resorts, they were all lavish, luxurious, and everyone all over the country was actually going into those areas. But then obviously when the Catskills fell, this place fell, um, there was more to it. Like there was a, a main road that used to bring everyone into this area. They, they switched the main road to go somewhere else. So obviously that took a big impact on this place economically and no one was coming here ever, pretty much ever since. The whole place just fell in the bits. And now we're all here. We're exploring it. Let's do it. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna say this because I'm gonna say, I say in every video, this place is Silent Hill. Like, it does look like Silent Hill. It pretty much represents Silent Hill. The houses that we're gonna see, the abandoned roads that we're on right now, it is 100% Silent Hill. You got the gloomy weather, the rainy effect, the fog is going on. This is it. I'd explore. So like I said, we're in a whole town, so there's just abandoned places all over and we're probably even going to miss some. I just seen some deer up that hill. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that every place here that is abandoned is probably completely gutted and there's nothing inside. But I mean, we're out here and we're exploring. We're still in the mountains. It's great weather, like I said. We're chilling. Kind of feels like we're in Chernobyl too. Chernobyl in. Chernobyl and Silent Hill though. This dude, this house is beautiful just to take a shot of. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good spot. <laughs> Why are we all holding our tripods the same way? <laughs> Yo, I started that. <laughs> For stability. <laughs> I definitely think this house is from the 1800s, but I don't really know yet. The fact that there's like old chairs just outside the, the house is funny. I'm coming in though. There we go. Okay. This is interesting though. Right here. I feel like we're gonna cave in. There's a downstairs you can see through there. It's really thin. Everything in here, the furniture, what's left is, you you know it's it's old. We got old moose wallpaper. It's actually hand painted. Hey, we got a Grand Theft Auto PS2 edition box right here. So we know, I'm assuming kids lived here for sure. I'm just scared. I'm really scared to step through here. Some old records. Old suitcases. Oh, this place is great. I mean, literally, this place is wide open for people to just come in here and take whatever's left. I'm sure everything that was good is already taken out. We can go up this skinny little staircase, but I don't know. No promises here, it's not gonna collapse. It's not even, is it connected to the rest of the house? No, it's not, just a little area. Like a storage device. <laughs> Judging by the items in the house, we definitely know 100%, you know, there was like teenagers or kids living here. And it makes you think, it's like, where did they go? Why they just ditched their whole house? Now right here, this is actually pretty beautiful. You got that light pink paint chipping. You know it's old. You got this desk lined up here, really old wooden desk. The chairs have literally half broken. 
creates this really nice old yet relaxing kind of vibe I'd say. Now you know what I think? I think sometimes it's not about like what's in the place, but like the surroundings. Yeah. And because like, we know like we're at a ghost town, so it makes the places better. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're approaching their living room. And what left is remaining here is a little tiger knickknack. Again, I'd love to just see like what people owned or, you know what I mean? To just kind of put the pieces together. Who lived where, who lived what, what they like. And kind of just by exploring these areas, you can kind of get a clue. We're gonna go upstairs now, check it out. And then we're gonna go to the next place. Okay. What do you see, Danny? What do you see? Some kids stuff over there. Like, you see a kid's drawing book? You can see the kids' names and stuff that were here. Oh, so we know who was here now? Exactly. Oh, dude, this is freaky. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's actually really freaky. I feel like you're gonna see, like, Slenderman drawings and stuff. Hang on. I knew kids lived here, though. Ten twenty-three, but there's no actual year date. October twenty-third. Okay. His name's Brandon. <laughs> Guys, me and Danny wanted to go in the attic, but we literally can't fit. <laughs> Look how small that is, dude. Only Seth can. Or Noel. Oh God. Noel can go. Yeah, you go up there. I That's like the sinister. Hey, my camera could fit though. What does my camera see? Absolutely nothing. It's too dark. Yeah, but take the cam. It didn't it's happen without the camera. Ew, why is there, oh, I thought there was a light up here. It's just like a hole. Oh, let me see it. Okay. <sighs> it's empty. I mean, there's nothing really interesting. Honestly, after today, the diet starts today. Starts right now. Vlogging while sliding. Hey! So there's a random paddle boat over there. As we cross the street, again, we're just roaming this dirt road in the Silent Hill, deeper we go. And across the street, we have this old historical hotel. This is called the Paramount Hotel. I guess it's over 106 or seven years old, had over 200 plus guests. And it was built during the times that the Catskills was really popular as well. And I guess what happened was it was a fire that broke out. And I guess it also went, fell into bankruptcy as well. And as far as I know after that, no one was doing anything with this place. I mean, look at this. On the middle of the road, all this is just sitting here on the sidewalk. Broken glass everywhere. Every window here is smashed. The doors are wide open. It's a ghost town. We're gonna go up inside this place right now. Uh, apparently, I'm not gonna show you anything really crazy in here because we're just trying to get to the roof. Oh yeah, this is the Trap Hotel. Say, so, someone says you to Michaela Carter. Shout out to you then. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but recently the last few videos, I filmed without a microphone, so my voice sounds better when I talk. I kind of been showing my face a bit less. I've been really enjoying like the relaxing commentary. I did not expect there to actually be a pool here. That's cool. But wow. Shattered. I actually didn't notice, but at the pool, these doors are actually brand new. I mean, these doors could have been from 2004 or five, but they've been here ever since. The second floor is pretty dark. Goes up to rooms 200 plus. I was like, where are you? <laughs> There's a random piano in the middle of the whole hallway. Those are heavy to move. No, they, yeah. So Danny and Seth, yeah, this place ain't that cool. But dude, you, there's a pool on the first floor. There's a pool? Yeah, right under us is a legit pool. Yeah, go check that pool. 
they're sleeping on this place. It's because they already hit it, so they're like, oh, it's not that cool. Here's how all the rooms looked, all standard. But you can tell, they were trying to re-renovate it at one point. They ripped the carpets out, they already put new ones on. Then the fire broke out. Because what happened was, when the, uh, the Catskills companies up north bought this place out, and they were like, yeah, we're gonna fix it up. But then the fire broke out, and then they were like, we ain't doing it. Again, this place is massive, so I'm not gonna show you every ounce of this hotel, just the parts that were cool, which was the pool, we're going up to the roof, apparently the roof's cool, just to show you the layout. We're gonna keep moving along. There's a lot more to go to. It's a whole ghost town. Yes. Hell yeah, see there's something back there, there's probably like a gym here. See, this place is actually pretty big. Again. No one's here at all. Actually, there is a pool, another one. There's an outdoor pool right there. get any more Silent Hill slash ghost town than this. We have an abandoned church literally right here. I don't know what that flame thing means with the cross, but the fact that it's all you painted tried. wood chips, it's crazy. Again, roaming around, we're in Main Street now. Pretty cool. There's a diner back there we gotta go check out and an old pharmacy, so we're just hopping around. Guys, just to show you how even more abandoned this place is, we are in this intersection in Parksville where Main Street is, and there's no one here. And over there, um, the old diner about to go check out. Over there, there's another diner. This place is just full of abandoned diners. All right, so now that we're up close to this place, the sign's pretty faded out, but you can see there's a hot tug and some ice cream. So that's why I'm calling it like a diner. Not sure exactly what it is though, but you can literally just walk through the other side of this place and go inside. I'm gonna go scout it out. What up? Oh yeah, I know, the door is wide open, dude, on Main Street. I was like, just like trying to give you guys a look window like oh yeah this is cool and all of a sudden Noel just pops into my frame yeah I, I mean like, how'd you get in there you can just walk in this place it's, it's literally wild so inside this diner it seems to be someone's like storage bay at this point now although for sale you have some wild berry scents this is what they used to serve here look at the back I think you can see yeah I can kind of bar barely make it out Yo, we got blue goo. What's that? I don't even know, dude. Blue? Oh yeah, blue goo ice cream? I don't know, but it sounds good. Now you know it's actually pretty creepy though? No, no, no. no the for sale sign that's place. still here. That was a bad example trying to sell The place sort of reminds you of like an, a little in and out because the colors. Oh, loud card. I am out. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Okay, now we actually know the name of this place. Fiddler's Dairy King. Diet starts now, boys. Alright, so we're crossing this cool bridge. But over here, we're heading to this new diner. Now this is actually one of the last diners, the last places to actually close down in this town. So I know it's gonna look really nice inside. We might not be able to get inside, but we'll check the windows and stuff. So it says 186 Diner Restaurant. Did it actually have a name or was it just called Diner? Cause over there, the sign just says Diner. And back there, you can see a lot of things is for sale. There's a sign up there that says, uh, Memories. We'll get closer to that. Rolling up to the diner, it says the diner will open in May. But like, how old is that sign actually? It looks like it's actually been here for like two or three years. I'm trying to see what's inside, but we can't check it out from here. We need to go to another side. I mean, dude, there's still an old payphone. You don't see payphones anymore. So this sign's actually destroyed. I didn't know that. Just from, you know, old and DK, it's collapsing right here. But this is actually pretty interesting. It says memories, like I said, but then it says step back in time. This whole place is definitely step back in time. 
One time, people came inside, people kind of messed it up, but I'll show you some footage of what the uh, pharmacy looks like, but it's not from my video. After like a mile or two of walking around different areas, we came to the last place. It's actually even for sale. Don't know anything about it. We're gonna find out if this is some sort of lodge, a community living space, or a hotel. I don't know. I don't know what it is yet. Big shout out to RNK for letting me use his uh, pharmacy clips. Um, unfortunately, I could not go inside. You've seen the outside, you've seen the inside. I think that's the gem of all the abandoned places here in Parksville. Shout out to RNK all day. Well, we're investigating, but it does have an old pool. So maybe it was some sort of like summer camp. Literally, we're just rolling right up to this place. Doors are wide open here. I'm thinking that's where maybe some people live, but I don't know. We're gonna go right inside here. Really? What is going on here? Well, it's cold, but <laughs> we made it to their kitchen. Super quiet. Now we're behind the cafeteria, moving along. <laughs> Definitely was a religious place. You know, through the cracks of the windows, I can hear the wind just roaring. They must have closed down sometime Christmas of, I don't know, could have been 10 years ago for all we know. The ceiling's all falling down. So they have awards here, and the last award was in 2008. And it was some sort of community. These plants probably been here forever. They're all shriveled up. And over here we found a piano chilling in the corner. It's weird, <laughs> but I love being surrounded by like, almost like dead things almost in a way. Like cemeteries are peaceful. Something that's really destroyed that you know has been here for quite some time, that has memories shared, something like that. Um, it's just really peaceful to be around, though everything's kind of just dead okay what the heck some dude's hands <clears throat> okay top villages ambience there you go parksville schoolhouse sign in sheets i feel like someone's just gonna jump out at me Long, dark hallways. Looks like they were trying to renovate this place. Someone was, it looks just frozen in time. Like the whole machine's here, it's plugged in. Like they're literally trying to finish the flooring. And now it's, it's at a pause. 
He's still plugged in. It's so cold you might be able to see my breath. <laughs> Going up to the second floor. It's like looking like blood splatters everywhere. Someone's shoes. What the hell's up there? Hang on. Uh. Oh! He scared me! <laughs> There's like blood and stuff on the walls. It looks like I'm all freaked out and I just see you come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever was the secretary was chilling. Legends of plants and flowers. They were learning something. I actually think that this was, that's, that was the person that lived here. That girl, I don't know. Um, sus? <laughs> might have to turn, <laughs> might be turning back. They definitely remodeled the office at one time. Could have been in 2008 when they stopped, or I don't know, could have been even sooner or later. But everything else around it is also old, like these old lamps. You kind of just tell. I'll tell you what, because we see floppy disks still chilling, definitely old. I see you. People had a lot of time on their hands. The last floor. What is all this? Like Halloween costumes? I'm not sure. <sighs> Definitely been squatters up here. 100%. Like watching my back now. Dude, someone totally lives here. That's all their clothes. Someone won mad trophies. Going in the basement really quick or this little side room. Not sure how I feel about it. Okay. Now it's quiet. A lot of like military bunk beds over here. Everything's still like deserted, but nothing's actually vandalized for the camp. Right. So I found, I was just digging around and right. I found the blessing jar. And I just started reading some of these and some of them are so sad. Like this one says, I'm glad to be alive today, sober and free from drugs and alcohol. Thank you, Daytop. And then I found one that was really sad. This one says, I woke up today with an exclamation point. Aww. And this one says, peace, I want peace, 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 just peace. Dang. Like, that's so sad. And it says, bless all those who help me now during the tough times I am facing. This one just says forgiveness. Huh. Like some of these are really just like... It's interesting too because we don't know who wrote them. But I know. It still like brings a weird feeling. I know. I just feel like, I don't know. I'm such an empath. Like, I feel so, I don't know. It just makes me feel my feels. All right. Shout out to J&E Adventures at YouTube, whoever these guys are. This is the second YouTube group we found here that's shouted. I've shouted them both out. Dude, so I put my eyes on the crow, but then I freaked out when I seen that. <laughs> Can we touch it? Yeah. Okay, it's not real. <laughs> Tons of books. I actually really look at this. Look at this. A skull. Ooh, that's kind of sick. That is sick. We're finding everything out here. Oh, look at this. I wonder if this is where they called their families. Because there's a oh, phone at every wall. Oh, oh you know what? You might do right. Yeah. Place is actually more interesting than I thought. Yeah, I thought it would not be that interesting. Because it? it was just a place that we like saw on the side of the road. <laughs> that's what every place is here. Yeah, this place you never know what you're gonna find. But now it really are. We actually cleared this whole building now, guys. So here's the move. We're getting a squad pick right there. And then we are gonna head to our hotel, stay the night, because stay tuned. We're gonna actually end this video though in the hotel that we're sleeping at. God! <laughs> this is literally what we do after we're done exploring. <laughs> hey! 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 That's the life, guys. Literally, we just got done the video. Obviously, we came back here. I had some southern food. I'm vlogging now, for real. Kind of ate it all. 
everyone ate it all. And then uh, Seth introduced me to some Hershey. Whatever this Symphony. is. Symphony. 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 That's a word. But anyways, I'm ending this video here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, we're doing a trash a hospital manor. in a manor. Don't know what's going to happen. But rise above. Just got out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.